I'm Dave Sokol, Executive Director of the Oberlin Food Hub, and today we're doing some processing work in the Cleveland Food Hub uh, to send some awesome local veggies to you. At Oberlin Food Hub, our mission is to support small family farmers and increase access to local food by driving out to those farms, picking up food, bringing it to our facility, and driving around the region to get it to your plate. So there's a lot of things that we need to do to make sure the food is safe when it comes in from the farm and goes out to you. Uh, we wear our hair nets so we don't get any hair in your food. We wear beer nets if you have a bigger beard, net, beard than I do. We wear protective gloves for our own safety and also to keep any bacteria off of the food. And everything that we process gets washed in an organic and food safe uh, sanitizing agent that helps it, the food to not brown, to not turn funky colors, and also extends the shelf life but does it in a food safe way. So Oberlin Food Hub's been around for four years. We started every day driving down to farmers, picking up food and delivering it to schools, restaurants, grocery stores, hospital partners, but we've grown thankfully pretty quickly. So in four years we have our own warehouse facility, a couple trucks and vehicles that we bring food around and our job is to support farmers and to make local food easier to access so they can get to school districts like yours. So one thing that makes us unique is our dedication to local. We work with a lot of small farmers. We'll work with somebody as small as a backyard gardener at times, up to 50, 60, 100 acre farms who are doing much larger scale production. We really believe that school kids all across the region should have access to fresh local produce and other items that are nutritious and wholesome. So we work really hard to be in a space that's sometimes difficult to distribute food all around Northeast Ohio, but it's really important to us. So this is a rutabaga. This grows under the dirt with the green leaves puffing out over the top. It's a big hearty root vegetable, very nutritious uh, and full of flavor, kind of like a mild carrot. We take these and have a team of folks who are chopping and removing the top and the tail. Uh, and from here, we cut it in half and run it through a produce washing machine. So what you're looking at here is a North Star produce washing machine. In fact, this machine is also made in Ohio. After we're done chopping and prepping the produce, we drop it in the water bath where it's tumbled and sanitized and then shot down the line, cleaned off by the sprayer and dropped into buckets ready for the next step in the process. Once it comes through the machine, we end up with our finished product, which is a, a cleaned, food safe rutabaga half. And then tomorrow, that's gonna run through a food chopper and turn into cubed rutabaga, ready to get roasted and served up. So we do chips, cheese, meats, dairy, vegetable, grains, all kinds of different stuff. And particularly for fruits and vegetables, we chop it up so that it's easier for school kitchens and families to use. In terms of the timeline for getting food to our customers, some of it is just in time. We get an order on a Friday afternoon, the farmer picks it up and packs it on a Monday, they harvest it from their fields, we bring it back to Oberlin and ship it out to school districts on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So a very quick turnaround from when someone needs the food to it literally coming out of the ground and getting to your district. On other items, like today we're processing some carrots, those are storage crops. So the har farmer harvests large batches at a time keeps them in very cold rooms, almost freezing, so they preserve for as long as possible. And then we take them and get the orders to chop them up, chop them, pack them, and ship them out. At the Oberlin Food Hub, our goal is really to reshape the region. There was a study done about 10 years ago called the 25% shift that said if we could move 25% of the food purchased in Northeast Ohio back into local markets, purchased from local families and local farmers and producers, it would create thousands of jobs and generate millions of dollars of revenue for the region. So we wanna be part of helping to support that, helping to regrow some of the manufacturing in Northeast Ohio and just create equity and support for everybody in the region. There's many things that make the Oberlin Food Hub unique. I think most important to me as the director is that we're a business that treats all of our staff like family. We want everyone to enjoy their work, to feel excited about their work, and to have that energy propel them to do the best that they can for the business and for local food. So now we're in the dry storage and shipping and receiving area. 
Behind me are storage racks where the product lives in between deliveries. We use all kinds of fun tools in here like pallet jacks to move around pallets of food. We use electric pallet jacks and my favorite, we use tow motors like this. See you later. A lot of people think of the summer as the busy time for produce. That's when tomatoes and corn are growing. But farmers are planning and plotting all year round. We start talking to farmers in December or January and then right around the Christmas holiday to start thinking about seeds and crop plans, what they're gonna grow, what they're gonna put in the ground. That takes months and months and months until it, a seed turns into a carrot and a carrot turns into a carrot stick and then you can eat that carrot stick. Uh, here at Oberlin Food Hub, we take a lot of pride in getting the best food we possibly can out to schools like yours so that students like you can have really wonderful meals. So to do that, we have a lot of partners that we love and cherish, like Dogo's right there in Canton, Ohio, help make pizza dough and cookies uh, for, just, for schools around the region. Um, there's a pizza bagel company in Cleveland and chips grown and produced in Ohio. So that's really important to us to come up with creative new ways to get local food and local businesses involved in schools like yours. Well, from me, Dave, and from the whole team at the Oberlin Food Hub, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video, for enjoying this local food, and participating in the movement to make it a better, more equitable world for all. Have a great day.